I'd like to call this meeting to order the Monday, May 12th meeting of the Board of Selectmen. I'd first like to announce that this meeting is being recorded and ask in the, if there's anyone in the audience who is also recording this meeting. Seeing none, if we could rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge my allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we have no public comment. The first public hearing we have is a presentation of the donation from Republic Services. Ms. Jacobson. Uh, through the chair, yes. Uh, this evening we have with us Bruce Stannis from Republic, which was formerly Allied Way Services. And um, um, Bruce, if you'd like, if you want, uh, you can come up here and present the check. But just by way of <coughs> background, the board had voted to accept a check from Allied uh, slash Republic Services to sponsor our summer concert series. So they are one of the sponsors. So we are very grateful, but tonight is the formal presentation of the tech. Did you want to say a few words about your company? If you would, right go over right to over the to the microphone. <laughs> and just give your name and- Yes, my name is Bruce Stannis. I'm the Municipal and Government Affairs Manager for uh, Republic Services, formerly Allied Waste and formerly BFI. Um, just to say on behalf of uh, our company, and in the spirit of good, uh, I guess, corporate citizenry, we were very pleased to be able to submit an $1,800 check donation to support the uh, summer concert series. Excellent. So we are pleased and ecstatic to have the uh, opportunity to service uh, Auburn once again. I know we had to buy a company to get this contract back, <laughs> but uh, again, we're hoping to stick around for a little while longer this time. So again, thank you very much. Thank you and, so uh, much for your donation. Thank if you, you. could thank just you. come up here, we can cool. just do a photo. Members, over here by the flag. John, would you mind? Sorry. That's all right. Thank you, Bruce. Oh, my pleasure. And you can come over. Julie. I'm sorry. You can get right in the middle here. There is something in the other. It's hard. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Our pleasure. Thank you Our so pleasure. Much, really. yep. And Thank I hope you'll swing by Thank you. Some of Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. I saw the Beatles uh, rendition this yeah. one. Bruce, thank you very Thank much. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thanks, Drew. Talk to you oh, soon. Pleasure. Okay. Thank you. And so our next item is a 705 hearing. So we're just a couple minutes early on that. So um, Board of Selectmen items um, A through D will take a little bit of time. So how about um, moving up item, Board of Selectmen item 6F, which is a drain layers license. Is there a motion? Motion over up 6F. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So voted. <coughs> So in your packet, you have an application for a drain layers license for JD Construction um, here in Auburn. They have done work in the town before per the board's policy. The applicant does not need to be in attendance as long as um, they have submitted their application and the fee, which they have done. And we have a letter in our packet from Jeff Mitchell stating that the company has been previously licensed with the town and has performed work that meets or exceeds the sewer division's rules and regulations. So it would be the recommendation to approve the license. Is there a motion? Make a motion to approve the license, provided that all applicable requirements of the state, town, any of its departments, boards, and commissions have been fulfilled. So the license is subject to all the conditions stated upon it. Failure to comply with any and all the conditions shall invalidate the license and render null and void. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? So voted. <coughs> we still have about a minute and a half, so. Gift acceptances, we move up uh, G, 6G. Okay, under Second. gift. <coughs> all those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? So voted. So for gift acceptance, we have, bear with me, we're going out of order here. We have first, um, from the Auburn Water District to the Board of Health in the amount of $5,000 for the Household Hazardous Waste Collection Day. Is there a motion? 
Motion to accept with gratitude. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So voted. We have um, from Masterman's in memory of Ben Masterman. Um, this is a significant gift that I had the pleasure of speaking to Todd Masterman about. They are donating an outdoor ping pong table, um, which was Ben's passion. Um, they have the concrete ping pong tables in New York City, and Todd had seen them and thought it was a wonderful idea. So I'm sure we'll be hearing more of that, and it's in the amount of $13,000. Is there a motion? Motion to accept with gratitude. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any Aye. opposed? So voted. And from um, Mr. Lawrence G. Fitz to the fire department gift account in the amount of $100. Is there a motion? Motion to accept with gratitude. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So voted. Thank you so much. So now we are back at our 705 hearing. Is the applicant in here before we open the hearing? Okay. Great. So. Is there a motion to open the hearing? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? So voted. If you could just come up to the podium, please. Give your name for the record. Yes. Uh, thank you. My name is Thomas Blickars, for the record. B as in boy. L-I-C-H-A-R-Z as in zebra. Thank you. I work for UC Synergetic. We are engineering consultants for Verizon. I'm here on behalf of Verizon to petition for a new pole location, pole three and one half on Millbury Street. This location is right in front of the highway barn. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a very long span between pole three and pole four, and uh, our cables, telephone cables, are hanging very, very low. Uh, they seem to be about 13 feet off the ground, and they should be closer to 16 feet. The cables have been hit. The lashing wire is all broken away from the strand. And uh, as I read the information that I have, I think the, uh, the DPW was in contact with Verizon's line foreman to get those cables lifted up. Mm -hmm. So we need that pole to lift up those cables. Okay, great. Thank you. Are there, Mr. Holstrom? Through the chair, uh, will there be any interruption to service or will there be any interruption to traffic flow when you go to move this pole? Not to service, uh, but I'm wondering, that's a busy street, I'm wondering if there may be some police protection just to safeguard traffic, but, uh, you know, um, but not to service, sir. And I think that would be incumbent upon Verizon to get a traffic uh, policeman out there. Okay. okay. Direct traffic. Thank you. You're welcome. Are there any about us who were notified of this hearing? Do board members have anything else? Is there a motion to close the hearing? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? So voted. Is there a motion regarding the application? Make a motion. We approve uh, the petition for Millbury Street. Uh, on the northerly side, place the uh, new jail pole number uh, T3 and a half, E3.5, E.3.5, approximately 520 feet southeastly from the center line of Package Ogg Street. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? So voted. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. Thank you very much for having me here. Okay. Good night. Good, Good night. night. <clears throat> okay. The next item we have a Board of Selectmen items. And looking at this item, we have items A, B, C, and D that are all the same applicant, all um, identical requests, as if you recall the last time they were here, some may have been in an evening, some may have been in a morning. So um, I'll entertain a motion to take A through C, I'm sorry, A through D together. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So voted. So the applicant for Sheldon's, please come up. So I, I know you've been before us in the past, but if you can Give us your name for the record and then tell us again what your plan is and what your intention is with these um, events. Uh, Daniel McMahon from Sheldon's Harley Davidson. And what we're basically looking to do is have an event once a month. Uh, we have the first two planned, the second two, uh, the details are not worked out yet, but I do know that we would like to have a band or a DJ for those two. Um, the first one coming up, which would be June 
No. May 31st. May 31st. Yeah, May 31st. Um, we are looking to have a band. Um, it would be probably around noon that they would start. I did apply from 10 to 3 because that's mm -hmm. what the whole event is scheduled for. Um, just looking to have some outdoor music for a few hours. Okay, but the music would be within that window of the 10 to 3? Yeah, okay. yeah, it wouldn't be that early in the morning, but I put 10 because that's what the event itself starts out. Okay, and are you the person that met with the DCG? Yes. Are you familiar with the conditions that they recommended? Okay, so just for the record, um, the conditions that the DCG has recommended is the applicant shall obtain any and all required Board of Health permits associated with the serving of food at the event. The applicant shall obtain a building permit for any temporary structures associated with the scheduled events, including but not limited to tents. And a sign permit will be required for any temporary signage promoting the event, including but not limited to banners. And you're... Yep, Agreement. I did get a annual uh, food permit um, for the last event. Okay. So I do have that for the year. I just have to um, check in with the board. Yeah, of I just I just have to check in on a, okay. any events. So just you, you would need to give her yeah, all, she, all of the yeah, information, the food vendors. Yeah, the, two weeks the dates. before she said. Okay, um, Mr. Grossman. Plan <coughs> all four dates to have the band roughly from twelve to three. Yes. Are there any other questions? Did you have anything else? Nope. Is there a motion? I make a motion. We uh, approve the license, provided that all applicable requirements of the state and town and any departments, boards, and commissions have been fulfilled. <coughs> Said license is subject to all the conditions stated upon it. Failure to comply with any of the all the conditions shall invalidate the license, render it null and void and with the conditions recommended by the DCG to be placed on the license. Is there a second? Is there a second? Second. Discussion? Discussion. If we need to name the all the dates, it would be May 31st, June 22nd, August 2nd, and August 23rd. June, June 21st. June 21st. Yeah, okay. So is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed so voted? Thanks so much. Good luck with your events. Thank you so much. The next item we have is a transient vendor license. Is the applicant here? Okay. If we can, do we want to um, skip over this and see if the applicant um, comes in? They, they may. The motion we uh, delay this until the end of the meeting. Time. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. So voted. So it may not be long. <laughs> We're going right through this. We've done the drain layers license. We've handled gift acceptance. There are no proclamations. We are up to town manager items. Uh, Mrs. Jacobson. Uh, through the chair, thank you. I just wanted to let everybody know um, that we are having a Civil War Remembrance event this Thursday at 12.30 p.m. to 1 o'clock, to 1.30 p.m., one hour, at the Hillside Cemetery at the site of the Civil War Monument. Uh, we have notified, as you know, the, the board and many of our boards and commissions that uh, Historic Commission, Historic Society, Parks Recreation, Cemetery Commission. We are doing this event in conjunction with the school department, and we have, uh, we're thrilled that the entire seventh grade class from the middle school will be coming. Uh, the buses will be bringing them in, as well as the middle school band. And if you haven't heard them, it's a treat. They're, they're wonderful. And they're actually going to be playing a couple of selections from the Civil War period, which wow. is great. Um, so we're looking forward to that. We also have a Civil War interpreter. So it's a nice educational event for the students, as well as for the residents and, and all of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, Guy Morin will be presenting. Uh, information and a historic uh, overview of the Civil War and Auburn's involvement in it, and he'll be dressed in period costume. We also have local historian Ken Ethier, who will be showing the middle school students some of the grave sites that are surrounding the Civil War monument. And just as a reminder to the public, the monument was refurbished in the fall, hmm. uh, late fall, right before the snow started to flood. We just got it in there with a $5,000 grant that we received 
from the Department of Veterans Services at the state in conjunction with a Civil War committee that was established uh, by the governor a couple of years ago to commemorate the Civil War. So we received a $5,000 grant. Town meeting uh, was generous and approved a $5,000 matching grant to refurbish not just the Civil War monument, the main monument, but also a couple of smaller Civil War monuments in, um, along Waterman Road in the cemetery there. And those are being done this spring. We couldn't get them all done before the snow started to flood, but we did get the large one done. So we want to do a couple things. We want to, number one, first and foremost, acknowledge Auburn residents and uh, I would say boys, young men who went off to war in the Civil War and who gave their lives during the Civil War. And also want to acknowledge and thank the state for their grant. And third, and uh, just as important, to provide a great educational opportunity for the seventh grade students who are studying the Civil War to learn what it means to us here in Auburn personally, as far as the history of some of the Auburn residents. Uh, we also have Congressman McGovern speaking, Representative Frost, and Senator Moore is sending a uh, representative to speak on his behalf. We've also invited the D Massachusetts Department of Veterans Services. Uh, there wasn't a lot of lead time notice on it, so I'm not sure if they can send somebody, but we wanted to let them know that they were welcome to come, especially because they had given a grant to us. Mm -hmm. So it should be a nice event, and right now we're planning rain or, or shine, unless for some reason the rain is I incredible downpour. Right now it's, it's not looking that way, so we want to go forward with the event. It was looking like rain, though. <laughs> Sorry. It's like the concert series. The minute you, you, <laughs> you plan the concert, we get rain. Okay. Um, and through the chair, uh, the, the next one is just a really short item. We, uh, I had mentioned to the board, and I just wanted to let the public know that we do have an interim library director, uh, Carol Ann McMaster, and she began two weeks ago on a part-time basis. She's working up to 19 hours a week. She is there until such time that the Board of Trustees and myself are able to go through all of the applications that we received by putting a notification out that we were looking for a permanent library director. But we really felt that we wanted to have someone there, at least on a part-time basis, to perform many of the functions and duties of the director until such time that we are able to get a permanent director. Uh, and we will be, I actually work very closely with the Library Board of Trustees, they've been wonderful going through the applications, uh, starting to get ready to have interviews probably at the end of this month. But Carolyn McMaster is uh, very well respected, uh, very competent, capable, experienced, and she'll be a great addition on the interim basis uh, as well. Great. Anything else? No, I'm all set. Thank great. You. Thank you. There are no tabled items. Under Board of Selectmen items, we did have <coughs> two from Mr. Simonian, but he hit, did have to leave. Um, is there any public comment on the items we've had to this point? We have the minutes of August 26, 2013. Are there any corrections or omissions? I'd like to make a comment that uh, it is, again, accurate and well done, detailed minutes of that, uh, uh, that hearing that night, and uh, this was of the... Uh, this thing that was in West Auburn. Right. It, was, uh, it was a legal hearing, well, yes. so good job, well Sharon. Well done and uh, very detailed, comprehensive. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, thank you, Sharon, because these minutes would be used if the, um, the issue was ever appealed. So thank you, Sharon. And I will entertain it. So moved. No. Um, is Mr. Gallant here for the transient vendor license? So Make a motion we postpone this to our next meeting and send him notification that... Okay. Uh, Is there a second? Yes, I'm here. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? So voted. I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. second. Mr. Grossman, second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? So voted. Thank we you. are Good night. adjourned.